Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to use a parallel in serial out shift register within the circuit wizard. For it, first we have to search for our main IC that is the main CMOS IC. So we have to go to 7400 series and we have to search for our shift register and we 74165 so this is our 8 bit shift register ok now we have dragged it out now you can see that there are 8 input pins on which we will send our parallel data and on Q we will get our serial data I and pin must be connected with the ground and what about clock clock must be set at at least like a 20 hertz or like this but it must be greater than 10 hertz LD pin is for to load or shift means that it provides an option for us to either load the data on the data lines or to shift the data to the serial when it is like a zero it will load the data and when it is one then it will shift the data on the serial output and uh, if you don't know about the serial output then it is just like uh, a communication on a single line like on one wire if a lot of digital bits are moving we can say it is a serial data okay that is on a single wire and if the data is like on multiple wires like this and all are traveling uh, like uh, all the data is moving parallelly then it is the parallel communication okay now in the last uh, we have our enable enable pin and we we can see a small bubble sign which will indicate that this one is the enable low r and it it must be connected with the uh, what's called as the ground okay yeah when there is any sort of bubble here it is the sign of inversion so you should have to connect this enable with the ground so we will go and uh, we will take our inputs and output probes so we can go to logic gates okay now this is our input so we need to connect it like that and that this and this Now we have connected all the, not connected, but we have placed all the input uh, states and now we are connecting it with the inputs. So it is right way, so just connect all the Okay, and what about a clock? clock uh, just take this clock signal and connect it with the clock pin and change its value to you can even change it like uh, if it is one hertz still it is okay okay no problem at all so so you can like um, it's okay no problem which it, it can take a bit of time to update data but still it's okay for observation now take the ground to connect it with the IN pin so this is our ground and okay now this is our IN like this now enable also needed to be connected with the ground so we will go and connect it like this now what about LD uh, we will place one input logic state here uh, so this is our input logic state okay now and we will use logic analyzer for to observe the output so just connect it with the Q okay and no need to connect it with Q bar because it will just show the inverted output so also we just need the normal output now we need to run it out okay 
okay one more thing that uh, we need to right click on the circuit analyzer logic analyzer and right click on it and click on it graph okay now we have added our graph here in order to observe the logic state a uh, a complete logic graph so now we need to run it out now we will give our certain like one zero zero one zero one zero one zero and one okay now you can see that we have parallelly entered the data that is 0 1 0 1 0 1 and 0 and 1 okay so this is our data whenever our load that is ld pin is at 0 or grounded or 0 then this data will be automatically loaded into the flip flops internal to that lies within this ic and when we will press it like uh, uh when we press it and it will be like uh, one okay then what will happen then all the data is shifted to the serial output so when i will press it now you can see that now all the serial data is going on the output now so it is uh, zero and then one and zero one and like this okay so okay now we will again do it with like doing this one 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 zero and one and zero or one okay like this and we will observe now so now data will be loaded and now you need to observe okay like this so this is the serial data which is coming on q output so in this way we can transfer our parallel data to the serial output so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe